Hi, my name is Andrea, and I just want to share a few of my favorites, starting with some of my favorite foods. I've been loving the spring slash going into summer. Um, these are from, these are plant seeds, tortilla chips, but they're multigrain. And I think that's just so awesome, because I love, uh, I love snacking. And to find a snack that is basically healthier than the alternative like potato chips or whatever. Um, like I love tortilla chips, but then to find it one that's multi-grain was awesome. And eat this paired with guacamole is basically like heaven on earth. It's so good. And so I just wanted to share this. And this is a from all these. So I I love all these. I don't I'm not particularly a fan with some of the people <laughs> that are there sometimes. It's a long story, but I love their food. And, um, so yeah, this is their multi plant is tortilla chips, multi grain, hair with guacamole chips. It is so good. It's a really good snack. Next, I want to share another snack. Um, I just got this today, so I pretty much discovered it today. It's these, um, all natural blueberry pomegranate trail mix, trail mix crunch. <laughs> And it is crunchy. I literally was eating them on my way home, walking from the gym, and I was like, oh, this is a great snack to eat after the gym. And I was riding on to it. I was like, oh, this is really hard. But it is, it's really good. And it's um, definitely tastes the blueberries. And it's I got this from Walgreens. It was about a little bit under $3, about $3 for, um, for a bag that's about 3.5 ounces. And it has, um, let's see. Um, dried roasted nuts, almonds, cashews, and pistachios, um, dried blueberries, sunflower oil, um, pomegranate juice powder, sea salt, um, yeah, so that's, um, cane sugar, which isn't great, but other than that, and some, a pinch of, uh, sea salt. But other than that, it's such a cute, cute package, and it's called, um, Good and Delish from all these awesome awesome snack tons of protein and from the uh, the nuts and berries provide vitamin C um, speaking of blueberries I don't know what's been my theme I also saw a blueberry um, with blueberry popcorn and I was gonna get that but it was a little bit out of my price range so I was gonna I was gonna get that maybe some other time when I could afford it um, but yeah, I was like, what is up with blueberry? Because I also yesterday made this amazing smoothie with a, like a half of a bag of blueberry. And when I drank it with the rest of my ingredients, which was bananas, broccoli, yogurt, and, and grape juice. I love using grape juice. I don't care. <laughs> I know it's not the best choice, but grape juice is so delicious. I love it with, in the smoothie. And it was like, it had such a delicious um punch of blueberries. So I'm like, and then I got this today, blueberry pomegranate, which is mainly blueberry taste um, of this bag of uh, the snacks. So I'm like, what's up with me and blueberries lately? I've been like, yeah, and the other time I had, the other day I had like a couple months ago, I had blueberry grape juice and it was really good. So I think me and blueberry have a thing right now. <laughs> um, like I've been really, oh yeah, I've also been thinking I'll have it with me, but pump pineapple. Delicious! I cut two pineapples, ate it in one week. <laughs> Another thing I've been really—it's really delicious. I love this season because it has the best pineapples out there. So, I also got that from Aldi. And last thing I'm going to show—I'm not sure if there's more stuff that I like to eat, but I can't—I couldn't find them. Or I couldn't think of it, so um, or I ate them already. <laughs> so it's this. It's kind of big. <laughs> uh, it's this Parmesan. Chicken tenders. It's Parmesan encrusted chicken chicken breast tender fillet. Um, fritters. I guess it's not those fillet fritters. Oh my god! This is my second bag I got yesterday from all these. Um, it is really good. It's really good, and it has um, yeah, it's just good. It's probably the most healthiest thing in the world. It's only about seventy per chicken, but. Yeah, I'll put this in the oven for about 30 minutes, and uh, it's so good. I've been eating this with pasta, whole wheat pasta, and um, I really love it a lot. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a big one. I'm actually going to put this in the fridge really quickly. I'll be right back.
So it doesn't go bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I also forgot one more thing because I got up. Okay, so then there's this. Speaking of pineapples, I've been digging this. Dry pineapples. I've never been a really big fan of dried fruit. Um, once in a while, it's like in a mix, but eating it by itself, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really like, I don't jump to it. So I was like, I saw this at the, at Aldi's. I was like, oh, that's right. You know, I love snack like that. I love snacking. And... So this will be a, another great healthy alternative. It's not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's definitely a healthy alternative to eating a candy bar or a bag of Frito-Lays covered with cheese and sour cream. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, dry pineapple, tropical pineapples made with real fruit, and it's really good. It's just it's sweet. Um, so, so just a handful of these, it's really satisfying. Again, like I say, I'm also digging smoothies, and like I mentioned, the blueberry smoothie I had yesterday was really good. So that's it with food for now. <laughs> I can go on and on and on about it because I really, I love, I feel like I'm a foodie. I love trying new things and, and just, yeah, it's awesome. Um, so I'll just go on to favorite shows. Some of the shows I've been digging um, is The Bachelorette, America's Got Talent, So You Think You Could Dance, Take Me Out, The Choice. Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition. I guess I'll start with Bachelorette. Um, Emily's on the show. She's the Bachelorette. She has chooses from dozens and dozens of guys. She, I think it's down, down to like the final seven or ten, I think. And basically, I was not going to watch this season. I was so sick of them recycling the same Bachelor and Bachelorette from other seasons. It was just a nauseating me. It was like, and everyone was breaking up. No one was hooking up. Only one or two couple are still together out of the, like, 25 couples that have <laughs> been on the shows. Um, so, so, but I started watching it, and I liked, and I liked Emily. I thought she was, you know, down to her, you know, cool mom with this, with this girl and her little daughter, and so I was like, well, let me see, you know, hopefully I can see if she, someone like her finds love, whatever, you know, but, uh, but yeah, it is kind of, um, the same premise, like, guys are being dogs, she's being nice, and, no one's, yeah, it's just for some reason, everyone's just acting like, like something, I don't even know, they just, <laughs> you know, so hopefully out of all of the mess, she'll find her, her Prince Charming, whatever that is, <laughs> but for her, you know, but I wasn't gonna watch it, I swear, but I'm kind of getting into it, and why not? a good show. It's, I like the exotic places to go. So far they've been to London and they went to Bermuda and it's just, I love seeing those scenery places that I've never been and just seeing what it looks like. That's another reason why I like watching it and also, of course, her fabulous gown and hairstyle and makeup. Yeah. And then America's Got Talent. I, it's a funny show with Howard Stern on it. Oh my god. It kicked it up a notch like 10, 20 times. It's so funny. And to watch these different acts that um, it's I think it's way better than American Idol, like, because it's different, it's a variety show, basically, and so there's singing, dancing, acrobats, magic, my favorite by far, I think, one of my favorites was, um, the mind reader, this guy came on, he said he could read minds, I was like, ah, if it's real, then it's really cool, but, um, uh, but yeah, there's been a lot of cool acts, um, so yeah, I missed a couple episodes, but it's okay, but it's still one of my favorites. So you think in dance, I've seen a couple episodes and some episodes I saw I really like. Um, I like anything with dance and music, except for Point Break. That is a bad show. Don't watch it. <laughs> I try to watch it. It's not, I don't like that show. That and Love in a While, I try to watch it. It just got me angry. People act so stupid on this show. And it's like, oh my gosh. But that's another story. <laughs> um, take me out. I just Take me out and the choice. I just, first time watching it yesterday. It was so funny and so good. I really like that show. It's kind of brutal. The um, Take Me Out one is kind of brutal. Um, because, um, yeah, one guy chooses, like, against 25 or 30 women. And they turn their lights on if they want to meet him. Or they leave their light off if they don't want to meet him. Anyway, it's, it's kind of a, it's actually a cool show. Because you get to meet someone just based on a few clips that you see out of their life. And it was kind of like he's like, this one guy was like, yeah, I like reading to kids. 
And some people turn the lights off. I'm like, what? What kind of woman does not like a guy who likes reading to kids or writes kids' stories, whatever? So, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, the choice is really good. I saw it yesterday. It was pretty good. I was kind of pissed off that the Joe. I didn't like Joe Jonas's choice. I thought he should have picked a dancer, but maybe he wanted to go with someone who's not in the business. I was thinking after that, I was like, oh, it makes sense. Maybe you know. I think I'm not sure if he's the guy who went up with Taylor Swift or not, but maybe he's just trying to find go out with someone who's not in the business, is not musical or, or musically or an artist. So maybe that's why you picked the other girl, because she was more into family and stuff. Um, that guy who's on Love Line, which I, I think he's, he's really vulgar, but <laughs> hey, you know, he's, he says what most guys think, I guess. Um, and he, I like his choice. Yeah, I really like his choice. <laughs> um, okay, so that was yesterday. And Extreme Makeover is a really I like that show a lot because I didn't, I missed, I saw the first episode and it was inspiring. This guy lost half his weight. He was, it was amazing. And I, I just got, because I'm, I'm on a weight loss journey too. So to see him lose weight was like, wow, I got to kick my butt. I'm not even his weight and I ain't in like slacking. I need to kick it up a notch. And if he can do it, then freaking I can do it, man. So, and I missed last season, which was a woman, or last week, which was a woman. So, I want to try to watch that online on Hulu or on ABC.com. Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely going to catch up on that show because it's really, it's a lot of shows where it's not, yeah, it's kind of, they edit it in a way to make it kind of sappy, but it also is inspirational. It's also very inspirational to see because weight loss is definitely a, it is a hard road. It's a, a, a uphill climb, and to do it alone is hard. But they have all, you know, their trainer and everything, so that's awesome. But this, the first guy did become homeless and still did it, so it's like, it doesn't matter if he's on the show, he's, it's still hard. So that's, I really like that show, because I'm going to wait, like, to watch it while I'm, losing, while I'm trying to work out is just, I think to me, is um, the greatest idea from, the greatest, not idea, but the greatest thing I can do to help motivate me because it's so cool to see someone that's kind of in my shoes um, to do what they're doing, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, okay, so two shows that are on hiatus until fall um, that I really like, of course, America's Next Top Model and um, Sophie with Pink Hair, with the Pink Hair one uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was I was so happy because she was actually my favorite. I like the other girl because she was like a risk taker. And like that one post she did where she was like upside down in a box with one of the Kardashian mom. But I I felt like Sophie was just more real and more like. So I'm like fidgeting with my bangs. Like, I like my bangs. <laughs> my forehead's big. But it's cool. And I like my big forehead. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah. Sophie's like. Edgy, she could be edgy, cute, high, low, fat, not low fashion, but high fashion, also catalog. So I just felt like she had the whole package. While the other girl had a very, um, she's a risk taker, she was very creative, and I, she's, she doesn't go far anyway in the industry because she's, she was like very, very good. Um, and the other one is, uh, so yeah, I like Top Model. It's, been on forever, <laughs> but it's still kind of fresh, even though they, they are going to make a lot of big changes, I heard, for the next season. Um, like, I heard that Mr. and Mrs. J wasn't going to be there anymore, which, if, they, if that's true, I'm like, what? That's like the whole show. Like, they're the bookends of that show, but, hey, um, I can't do anything about it, for sure. Um, okay, and then also, Shark Tank, which is an entrepreneurial um, show of people's inventions and they bring it to these sharks like Damon Wayne who have a lot of money that can buy their company or help finance invest in their company and they get the of course get the money back depending on what they agree with so that's a really good I like that show a lot because it's sometimes it's really funny because some of the inventions are really like what <laughs> who would buy that but some of the are really good and to see these people like get so excited to see Say, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get my stuff is gonna be in a store. Like, before I was working out of my basement, now I'm gonna have a, it's gonna be in stores, you know. So, it's kind of cool to see that when, when people are, I'm not trying to say, oh, <laughs> uh, when people have their dreams come true. There I go. <laughs> so, that's it for now. I'm gonna, I don't know if this is supposed to YouTube because I've been having technical difficulties, so 
hopefully this will. I hope that you like this video, and if you comment on TV, because I really am a TV, TV fanatic, I am coming back. I've been, like, watching less and less TV this season, and watching more, like, TV online during the day, a couple hours, um, so, yeah, and there's probably other shows I like, but I didn't even mention, which I will probably mention, sorry, <laughs> this is kind of rude, right, to shake my hair, but anyway, which I will mention some other time, maybe, but, uh, for the meantime, I'm, you know, if anyone who likes this video, I'm really grateful, and I can relate to my, my TV likes, and what I think about the shows, and, <laughs> It's just kind of cool because I, I have all these opinions and it's like, it's just in my own head. So it'd be nice to know if anyone else has, shares my opinions or have their own. I would love to hear. And also about snacks. If you have any ideas about snacks and food that I might like based upon what I showed, please let me know. Share them with me. I'll share with you. It'll just be like an awesome relationship. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. watching. Have a good weekend. Bye.